Krishna Kumar Agrawal is a man of many roles. Mortgage broker, financial advisor, accountant. So he knew everything. That's the money sitting here. That's the money sitting here. That's the loan we have, mortgage we have. He was involved in his religious community and respected by his clients. One of my friends, they told me, if you are looking for the house and everything, this person is good for the mortgage uh, advice. When Chris Agrawal sought investment in property developments like these, promising a generous return, he was entrusted with savings and super. It was a blind trust, actually, because we knew him. He was a, like a family member. The $80 million scheme has since come undone, exposing a labyrinth of companies, trusts and loans. From my conversations with Krish, it seems to me that he was the one running the, um, the network of companies. He took benefit from me emotionally. That's why I lose this 700k. It's the end of another work week for Yogita Patel. Wake up early, 7 o'clock I start my work. Then I'm starting the food business in the COVID time because I, all the restaurant is closed. 4 o'clock finish work, start cooking business until night time 2 o'clock. Yogita worked hard to save for her family home. In 2013, she turned to Chris Agrawal for help. We can afford only 400k house and bank not approving our loan as well. So somebody told me to see the Chris from Temple. He will do it for you, the mortgage. Chris became her trusted financial advisor. He also ran a construction company. Yogita says that last year, Chris encouraged her to invest in his plan to develop these blocks in northwest Sydney. He told me I will pay you back 12% interest a year and at the moment whatever I'm earning, I get double than that. So I just trust him and I will say, OK, it's good for me. Yogita received some interest but fears she won't see her $700,000 investment again. Companies connected to Chris have gone into administration. Yogita is the sole earner in her household. Her husband has a severe brain injury. How can I pay back my mortgage or things like that? My mortgage is more than $6,000 and I'm earning only nearly under $4,000. How can I survive? They are just normal Australian families who have worked really hard for their money and they've um, lost this money in this scheme um, and they're doing it really tough. So we've got... Mirzan Mansour has been appointed external administrator of five of the companies associated with Chris and his wife Shashi, accounting for $38 million of the missing money. So we've got Chris and Shashi who are directors of some of these companies Mansa Sons is owned by SK Group, um, together with like many different other entities as well. So it's a big web of companies. So it's a huge network. Like. It's a huge network. Yeah. Mansa Sons can be described as the treasury company or the fundraising company. Um, we raise funds from individual creditors. Funds that they uh, raise were then invested through a network of companies. The funds were then used for property development or property purchase or construction. Merzan's still investigating the complex scheme. My team is working extremely hard to understand where these funds have been spent or used. A separate administrator responsible for three more companies has identified dozens more creditors owed millions. It brings the couple's total debts to more than $80 million. Administrators are trying to work out what can be clawed back and how. There's at least a dozen properties linked to Chris and Shashi's various companies. Most of them are old houses on big blocks like this, ready for development. Selling them off is one way creditors could get some of their money back. Rajiv Kumar is consumed with having his money returned. Last six or seven weeks, 
we just sorting out all these papers and email and all we don't have any life or anything any time no time weekends we doing all this and <laughs> that that's all we're doing Rajiv had known Chris Agrawal for almost 10 years when he invested in his projects. He said, oh, well, I need some money if you can help me. You, I'll give you this like 12% interest anyway. You're paying bank this and this and all. I said, okay, well, um, if that's the case, you can take this money anyway. Chris would often message Rajiv and others with requests for large sums of money. While he received some interest, Rajiv estimates he loaned Chris more than $1 million. He and his wife's superannuation is gone. My message to Chris is, you have to pay our money back. We need our money back, everyone. I'm not asking on my own money. Of course, I need my money, but I'm asking everyone money. Everyone money. Everyone. The corporate watchdog ASIC is investigating possible breaches of corporations law and confirmed the Agrawal's companies are of interest to the agency. We tried to reach Chris and Shashi at their office. I can actually hear someone in there, so I don't know what's going on. We also tried their registered business address, which doubles as their home. It's recently been put on the market. No signs of life in the home. In fact, we heard from someone else on this street that there were removalists here taking all the furniture out just this weekend. Oh, money is gone, is gone. I don't think so, he's coming back. He done everywhere mess up. Everything is mess up. I'm very bad position. <laughs>